Virtual production has become a vital tool in Hollywood, and it's something we've incorporated into our own shoots at Creative Edge Productions. And the challenge, though, is sometimes finding the perfect background. That I love. I absolutely love. And even looking for stock photos and stock elements, you don't always find exactly what you need, which is why sometimes I'll rely on AI image generation. Doesn't work perfect every time, but when it does, it's amazing what you can do to customize exactly the background that you need. The thing to keep in mind when using an AI image is that it's gonna be locked off and it's gonna be static. So you're not gonna get the parallax effect if using Unreal Engine with camera tracking and all that type of stuff. But sometimes you only need a locked off shot or you can do a very small amount of movement that doesn't reveal the lack of depth and parallax of the background. Now, when we wanna get our cameras moving in virtual production, that's when we use our Kessler Crane motion control gear. The Cine Shooter system has become an amazing tool that we use all the time in our virtual production shoots. And if you head over to their website now, you can get 10% off your next order using the code Creative Edge. The tool we use for AI image generation is Midjourney. Version 5 has become more and more photorealistic, and the customization, the way that it, it responds to prompting has become really, really amazing. But sometimes it doesn't compose the shot exactly how I would prefer. I might be looking for a, a really nice office, living room, and it does a great image and I love it, but it's just not wide enough. It's, it's too tight. And that's why sometimes I'll combine it with Adobe's Photoshop AI generated fill. And what I can do is I can take that image that I like and then create a canvas that's much larger and then select around that and just let it generate. And I can prompt it if I need to, but a lot of times it'll do a great job of just adding additional elements around it. Now here's an example of how we were able to save our client a ton of money by using our virtual production background with AI image generation. We were doing a medical video for one of our clients and they wanted to showcase a doctor recommending that product to their patient. Now that sounds like a really simple shot, just a doctor in a doctor's office. But if you start to break down the logistics of that, we need to get a doctor's office. We need to get a location into a hospital or medical center. We need to get that for a, an extended period of time. We need to haul all of our equipment there. I think you get the idea. The, the logistics on that would have been very cost prohibitive, especially for the budget of this project. So instead of scrapping the shot or just saying, oh, we'll just get a stock video clip of a doctor talking, we instead used our AR wall. We had our talent that was a doctor come in as well as the patient. We had their pamphlet that explained the product. And as a little bonus, our client's brand colors are orange. And so we just told Midjourney, give us an orange doctor's office. And it did. And so we had a, a orange painted background on a nice doctor's office. We matched the lighting, turned out perfect. Again, we didn't make this an overly complicated move. It was just a few shots that we needed, but the client was super happy with the results. And it, we, we were in and out in, in like an hour. We, the shoot was so quick. And I mean, again, frankly, even if we got a doctor's office, no one's gonna let us paint in orange. So being able to do that was such a nice bonus. Now, after doing this for several months, I've got a few best practices that will make your images work much better if you do it right. One of which is contrast ratio. You know, we're using a projector. We don't have an LED wall. I'd love to get one someday, but right now we're working with what we have. And so because of that, there is a limited contrast ratio. So you always wanna make sure that you're dialing in the image that you're, you're using in the background and the talent in front of it. If for some reason there's more depth of contrast on the talent than the image behind you, it's gonna reveal, it's gonna look more fake and, and feel like it's a fake background. So dialing in that contrast ratio and making sure that uh, your talent is matching that contrast ratio as best as possible, whether it's bringing in fill, whether it's bringing down your key light, whatever it might be. Uh, one thing I do often is I will shoot, I shoot on my FX6 a lot uh, on our AR wall because for multiple reasons, I can shoot with a, a full frame sensor, which allows me to throw the background out of focus even more easily and that helps blend out some of the, the the fake look of the background but also it allows me to bump up the ISO really really high without getting a noisy image and let the projector really pop and so that allows me to get uh, a much more realistic look where like if the window light is bright it should feel like it's bright it shouldn't feel like it's a dim window and the talent's brighter than that so doing that together allows that image to really feel like it's vivid and it's really behind the talent the second and probably the most important thing when using ai images is obviously don't use something that would theoretically be in motion don't use trees at a park or something like that where they would be blowing in the breeze. If you have a static image and the thing feels like it should be moving, it's gonna give away that it's fake. So water movement, 
a crowded area, like at a coffee shop, people behind you, don't do that. You know, use things that are completely static. That's why a lot of times I'll do indoor scenes or if I'm outdoors, I will like maybe not have clouds in the sky or, or just something to not give away that there's a lack of motion. And we've used these AI generated background plates for tons of projects. We did a promotion for our free online webinar, the Video Pathfinder system, which you can check out at videopathfinder.com. But for our promo, I wanted to showcase a person in a restaurant, which was myself, uh, eating basically a giant plate of parsley. And the joke and the gimmick on the hook of that video was to say, don't let your social media be just a giant plate of garnish. And so we started off in a restaurant, but then we kind of do a wonder effect where the table is pulled away and we reveal that we're now in an office. And so we did a background transition that we baked into a video file. And both of those, the restaurant and the office was an AI generated image. We also did a project for the Green Bay Blizzard where most of the video was shot on location in a snowy wilderness, but we had a few pickup shots we need to get in our studio. So we used an AI generated image to match the background that we had previously. And again, we were able to then shoot with smoke and snow and all effects that would have been really impossible to shoot in front of a green screen. And for clients that we do our short form content with, instead of just having one static backdrop, we're able to constantly switch it out and give our clients a variety of backgrounds when we shoot in our studio. Now that Green Bay Blizzard video I just mentioned was a ton of fun and the result was quite amazing. And if you wanna see the entire behind the scenes of that process, you can check out that video right over here.